Hi, my name is Marco Williams from PlayFab, and this is a continuation of our authentication series. In our previous video, we went over logging in silently or uh, anonymously, and we had gone over logging in with a username, email, or password. And we had mentioned this remember me feature, and I had said that there was some special conditions around that. And so I wanted to make a separate video that really focuses on this remember me feature with email and password. So what we can see, if I switch over to the code, we did a couple things here inside of our PlayFab auth service. One was that we created a property that stored whether or not the user was going to be remembered as a key in player prefs. Then the other thing we did was we had another property that stored a specific ID for that user and we were using a GUID. But what I didn't cover was how those get set and when they get set and why we set them. So when a user authenticates and it's an email and password, if I go into this authentication method, we can skip down here to when they actually log in. You'll see that we have some code here that actually generates a new GUID and then links that GUID as a custom ID. And the reason that we do that is so that the next time that they log in, if remember me is been selected, then it will try to log them in with a custom ID with that GUID versus trying to log them in with the email and password, which you don't want to store. You don't want to store their password permanently inside of your game. You just want to make some sort of token that they can use to authenticate in the future, but you don't want that token to be something that needs to be shared across multiple devices because that other device will also generate its own token and link to that same account. And that's okay because you can have multiple custom IDs linked to the same exact account. And so in this particular situation, we're linking the custom ID and then the next time they authenticate, it's gonna run through this function again. And it's gonna say, if remember me was checked and we have already generated an ID to log them in with, then we're going to log them in with a custom ID. And then all the rest of this stuff is the standard, you know, callbacks and error handling. So let's take a look at how that actually worked. And I'm going to click on my login view and you'll see I've unchecked clear player prefs because if that is checked, it'll clear player prefs and it'll wipe out our ID every time we start the project and we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play. As you can see, I've already done this once. So I'm actually going to clear my player press out. And let's do it for the first time. Okay, so I'm going to check Remember Me. And then I'm going to click Log In. Now we're all logged in. And now if I stop, Clear Player Press is still unchecked. That's good. I'm going to start it again and it should automatically log me in. So that is how you would use a remember me feature with logging in with the username and password. That's it. Thanks for watching.